Okay, boys and girls. So today we're gonna go over module three, lesson 18. And this is the problem set that we did today in class. I'm gonna use this today because it's really similar to your homework. So for the first section, it wants you to draw the following values on the place value chart as you think best. So this would be 119 ones. So first I'm gonna label my place value chart hundreds times ones, one in the hundredth place, and then 19 in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And I can tell that I've got more than nine ones, I've got 19. So I'm gonna circle a group of 10 ones and I'm gonna turn it into a 10. So I no longer have 10 ones in this place, I have 110. So this number has 100, 110, and nine ones. It's the number 119. All right, the next one, I'm gonna label hundreds, tens, ones, and it says there are three ones. Oh, they put them in different orders. They tried to trick you. Three ones, so make sure you put three ones in the ones place. And 12 tens. Make sure they go in the tens place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So when I look at my tens place, I can find a bundle of 10 tens. And I'm going to turn that into a hundred. So instead of showing it as 10 tens, we are representing it as 100. So I've got one in my hundreds place, two in my tens place, and three in my ones place to make the number 123. And finally, it gives you the number 120. Hundreds, tens, ones. 120 is one in the hundreds and two in the tens place. Now it says to order the numbers from least to greatest. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is compare the hundreds place. 100, 100, and 100. Since they're all the same value, I'll need to move to my next place value, which is the tens. Remember, I'm looking for the least. This has one in the tens, two in the tens, and two in the tens. Well, I know one is less than two, so my least value would be 119. Now I am comparing the next two. They both have 100 and they both have two tens, so I need to look at the ones place. This has zero ones, which is gonna be less than three ones. All right, so that's how this one works. You draw them first, and then put them in the order from least to greatest. The next sections um, are also just ordering them, going from either least to greatest or greatest to least. So in this next section, you start with the least, you end with the greatest. Um, if they don't give you the numbers in standard form, like these are already in standard form, but if you get to one and it gives you it in word form or expanded form, or unit form, um, you're just gonna need to put them into standard form first. So I'll show you an example with this one over here. Actually, let's do this one. So 16 ones and seven hundreds. If you're having a hard time, you can write H, T, O to help you get your place values right. I know there's seven in the hundreds place, and then it says there's 16 ones. Well, I can't put both digits of a 16 in the ones column. So I know that 16 ones is the same thing as 110 and six ones. So this number is 716. Now I've got another number and this time it's in expanded form. So I'm gonna write hundreds, tens, ones. So I get my place values in the right order and it says seven in the hundreds place. So I'll put seven in my hundreds place. 
there's one ten. So I put one ten, and there's six ones. So this is also seven hundred sixteen. And this last one is also 716. So looking at the directions, it says to order them from least to greatest in standard form, but they're all the exact same number. So I would just write 716, 716, 716. Well, that was a weird one to show because they're all the same number. Um, for the last section, it wants you to order them from grace, greatest to least. So if they're not in the correct form, in the standard form already, you'll have to do that first. But if I'm looking at these, which are already in standard form, first I look at the hundreds place. So I'm comparing seven hundreds, five hundreds, and eight hundreds. I know eight is greater than five and seven, so eight hundred two will be the greatest. If I wanna find out which one is the least, well I know five is less than seven, so 598 would be the least, which leaves 731 to go in the middle. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.